You deserve to feel good about yourself and be proud of your accomplishments. Compromising on your happiness is not moral. It is nothing but a big self-destruction. people how are you all doing welcome back again it's a wild monday right guys today what we're going to share is a requested video when i did my previous video on how to live a life you love i did ask if you would love me to really share on how to deal with the manipulators I received comments and I received messages requesting that I should go ahead to ask that question. Thank you for all of you who dropped that feedback and thank you for all of you who are asking me questions and requesting for videos to really create. Because sometimes if you're a creator, I tell you sometimes you don't know what to create. But when you receive some requests, when you ask, when people ask you, it kind of motivates you. And then you do your research and you want to really sit down here and talk. So. Today, talking about the manipulators, I would love to ask you guys, just, I know, think about how manipulator really makes us feel. It's so uncomfortable, it's so annoying, it's so stressful when you hang yourself, when you hang around with um, manipulators. These manipulators could be our family, a husband, a wife, or it could be a girlfriend, a partner, your boss, your colleague, or even a friend. But you know, to be honest, to be in a relationship is not really easy. But I want to ask you this. Have you never been a manipulator yourself? Have you never seen yourself manipulating someone to get what you want or to even anything it is? It could be positive one, it could be negative one. Yeah, if your answer is yes, that's good. But if your answer is no, then think about it. How you feel when you become a victim of someone manipulating you. Does that really make you feel good? So the other way is, the more when you do that as well, remember that the way you feel is the same way another person will feel. So the first tip on how to deal with manipulators is nothing but to work on yourself. Yes. Work on yourself and make sure you clear that the attitude or that behavior because if you are a manipulator, definitely you are going to attract more manipulators into your life. So you need to work on yourself and make sure you are being honest and sincere and know your value and contented of who you are. When you say yes, let your yes be yes. When you say no, let your no be no. That is the first thing I am going to say. So work on yourself first before you could really deal with any other manipulators around you. When you finish working on yourself and making sure you are not the manipulator as well, and it's not your habit that is attracting other manipulators to your life, then which will take you to the second tip is nothing but to trust your instinct. Trust yourself believe in yourself the reason why manipulators i think why manipulators really continue to strive in this world is because many times people don't know what they are working for why they even choose a kind of person to get married or to be in a certain relationship or even why they are doing their career or so many things listen when you lose focus or when you lack purpose, you will believe anything. And this is when manipulators now come big time into your life. You will do anything they say because nothing really matters to you because you don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're doing. You will be listening to everything they are saying and you will be believing them. People who lack purpose are just killing themselves. They don't know where they are going or they don't know where they are coming from or why they are where they are. Now, oftentimes, people tend to go around asking for other people's opinion about everything. What should they do with their life? What am I doing and who am I? Am I doing the right thing? Is this the best thing for me? And many more things. 
blessed. Stop looking for people to define you. Define yourself. Trust yourself. Honestly, that is so wrong to do when it gets too much that you can't even do anything without seeking for people's opinion. You need to believe in yourself. Your belief are your boundaries. By setting your own beliefs and holding on to them strongly, you prevent manipulative people from affecting your life. Let me tell you, I keep saying to people, no matter what, any thoughts that came into our mind or any ideas that you really imagine or think about, they never come if you don't have all it takes to get it to work. All you have to do is sit back, plan, strategize, pray about it and execute them. When you know where you are going, trust your instinct. Manipulators can't hurt you. If you are focused, they can't distract you or misguide you. Next tip is nothing but to ignore everything they say or they do. I know it's not really easy for us to really ignore them when they ask, when they really get on your nerves. But if you do that, that is their strongest weak point. Many times these manipulators could be caring and at the same time emotional. They've come to you in a different shape. They might come that they care or might, they might come to like seek for help. They are down. Can you welcome us? And then when you welcome them, you see a lot of things. So when that happens, the only thing I would say is nothing but to keep your mouth shut. Keep everything to yourself. Do not try to correct them. The worst thing you could do to a manipulator is trying to correct them. It's a very terrible mistake to make. Correcting them, you sink yourself into their trap because they know your weakness. When you're correcting them, they get the time to know your weakness. They tend to know your strength. Also, they want to get you emotional so that they can see how you think. Once they know what triggers you, they will use them to influence your action. If they are your boss, a co-worker, a family member, agree with whatever they are saying and then do your own thing anyway. Maybe another one is tell them you think about it. Manipulators don't like to hear, let me think about it, I will come back. They want you to make decisions immediately so that they will carry on with the manipulator. So when they are really asking you, because I know if he's a boss, it's really challenging for you to really agree to what the boss said to do and then you don't do it. But all you have to do when you find yourself in a very critical moment that you cannot make that move, Tell the boss you have to think about it and then you get back to them. They don't like it. But well, that is the best tip for you to get away from such people when you come across. When you deal with manipulators, right, guys, I don't know if what if you get me, they will never say anything good about you because each and every time they try to come into your life to manipulate, to get something out from you, they don't like you. So beware of it. That's why most times people who listen to gossip, be careful the things they tell you, things you're listening, because most times these could be people who are trying to come into your life to manipulate and to do get something out of you. But because you are focused, you know what you want, you know your value, they tend to call you all sorts of names. They call you um, proud, arrogant, <sighs> I get that, over independent woman and yeah whatever it is so know what you want guys and there is no need for you to really correct them or try to help them to change from being a manipulator because you cannot do that they have to do it themselves when they choose to so zip your information zip your ideas and take action next one is to stop feeling good Stop feeling guilty of everything. Stop accepting these plenty stories. Do not allow people to be making you feel very low emotions. You know, low self-esteem of yourself. I did a video about this. How sorry can affect us emotionally. Don't tell me sorry. I don't want that. Because 
They come in that manner. Manipulative people can use this guilt. It's the strongest weapon that they use to get into us. And guilt is a useless emotion, but it can be a powerful tool as well. Manipulative people use it a lot against us. They will make you feel guilty for your past failures, for your condition, for your small mistakes, or that they will make you feel guilty for being even happy. For achieving something that you really want and by saying nobody ever been happy for themselves the way you do or like i said are you the only one who really achieves such things this is really really what we need to work on stop this feeling guilt and emotional trying to please people trying to please everyone when you are doing that you are giving so much room for manipulators to really come into your life guys toughen up a little bit it's it's not a cue if you think you've done something wrong, the only person you need to explain is nothing but God. So feeling sorry about it, every little thing, every damn thing that people make you do. Meanwhile, if you check yourself very well, you are just human, okay? You are not a perfect person. So if you do something, don't feel guilt about it. Another weapon manipulators also use is nothing but doubt. They will instill a sense of doubt, self-doubt, doubt about your ability doubt about your what they make you doubt about everything you are doing they make you even sometimes they say you are so proud they make you doubt your actions manipulators gain power in the state of uncertainty god when you are uncertain their influence becomes stronger they have a better chance of getting you to compromise on your values on your goals on yourself when you are uncertain so the solution is nothing but to stop feeling guilty and don't doubt yourself for anything. You don't owe anybody any explanation. I say this and I repeat it all the time. Your life is your life. You are to make your bed the way you want to lie it. No one is going to help you to do it. Listen, I want to make you understand as well. There are people in our life, in our family who really good they are really good and nice but the thing is once they have a sense that you're going to grow bigger than them or better than them this is when they tend to manipulate every information and every advice that you seek for them so beware of that when you are really going to other um, people or family or friends to seek advice it happens even in marriage and relationship there are some people who do not want their man to grow bigger or their women to even grow bigger than them because they think that when you have that money they will lose control and they will not be able to manage and maybe they have their own fears finally the last but not the least guys is take responsibilities for yourself there is this saying if someone fools you once shame on them if someone fools you 10 times you are the fool what am i saying guys no one can come to your life to manipulate you if you do not give them permission to do so. guys no one can manipulate your life without your permission honestly that is true i did say that the first time it's nothing but if you are the manipulators you attract them but when you are not you need to know yourself what know what you want you don't need any explanation to anybody you are responsible for your own success and failures. If others are thinking you or even are strategize you, it's their own fault, not your own fault. Be accountable for everything. Learn from your mistakes. Don't keep trusting the same slippery manipulative people all the time or thinking that you will change them or that they will get to understand you in the letter wrong or that you have to... They, or try to make them see the your thing see you from your own point of view they will never see you all you have to do is nothing but to do what cut them off cut them off delete them block them if they call you be ready be fast to listen and slow to speak then surround yourself with positive and like-minded people who aren't just going to use you but to be there to accept you for who you are and to help you to achieve your goals and dreams that is it for today guys i hope you guys love this video and have an insight on today's video i'll see you guys again on monday bye don't forget guys please if you've not subscribed look for that button subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up if you like this video i love you for your time Mwah. bye again bye two bye three